Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning, episode 201. Today we're going to be doing a Big Ten Championship preview. Obviously all the drama last week with Ohio State not having the minimum six games. Then the Big Ten goes in and changes their rule to make it five to accommodate OSU. Kind of made a lot of people mad across the country, including myself, <clears throat> including I'm sure all the Texas A&M fans. But all that aside, number 14 Northwestern taking on number four, Ohio State. Jay, who wins this football game? Yeah, myself, wasn't happy to see Ohio State, but I think that's a lot of people just being biased and not liking Ohio State. You either love them or hate them. It's hard to, yeah, but exactly. But if everyone thinks of logic, we all know Ohio, Ohio State deserves to be there just because they're that good of a team. They're going to go to the college football playoffs more than likely. So, logically, they deserve to be there no matter the old rules from whenever years ago. It is what it is. I think this game... Just, Justin Fields is just going to increase his case to be a great quarterback to make the NFL draft, probably be the number two pick. And any other year, for him for Trevor Lawrence, he'd more than likely be a number one pick. So I definitely think he'll show that talent in this game. Probably Ohio State's biggest game this year. Yeah, they played, was it Indiana? Indiana. That was Indiana was number 10, I believe. Number 10 at the time, but there wasn't as much stakes as there is now. If Ohio State loses this game, they're more than likely out of the college football playoffs just to lose to a number 14 team, and you're already ranked number four, I believe. Yeah in the current standing so i'd love to see him lose just because i'd make the college football playoffs much more interesting to see who gets in and who doesn't might give our gators a better chance but i don't think it's going to happen ohio state even though they have a weak a sense of a weak defense this year they're still ohio state got the best recruits in the country outside of alabama clemson one of the best teams in the country i think they'll definitely win i don't think it'll be close i'm not sure what the spread is on that game but i'm sure it's pretty accurate it's probably about about 20 something points yeah well, Ohio State is average uh, winning. I think their their average win deficit, or not win deficit, but win spread this year is like 22 points or something. Yeah, but and actually, I, I, not to go ahead. contradict, but I think the spread when they played Indiana was actually 24, and then they end up only winning by, I believe, seven, but that right. was also Justin Fields having a terrible game. Like three terrible games. second half. So that's likely not going to happen. Again. Right, so I believe the spread this game was 20 points. Ohio State clearly a favorite for good reason. But they can't, they can't get into a situation like Notre Dame can yeah. of winning their conference or losing the conference game and make it in. Ohio State absolutely has to win this game. If not, they're going to drop probably outside the top six or seven. Uh, but I don't expect them to lose. Um, like you mentioned, the Big Ten. I mean, they have they have such a weak strength of schedule yeah. that they have to. The whole reason that the Big Ten changed was to give them this conference championship because without it, they have no case yeah. for the playoff. Uh, now, obviously, Justin Field. Justin Fields, one of the best quarterbacks in college football. Uh, Teague out of the backfields, having a solid year, just shy of 500 yards through only five games, uh, six touchdowns. So solid running attack. And then, of course, like I said, Fields, one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. So they have a good offense, but their defense is lacking. Gave up 35 points to Indiana, the only good team they played this year, um, where they led 28-7 to and then only won 42-35. to So I think they struggled against the, good, the only good team they played, but that was a team that's better than Northwestern. And now Ohio State has gotten that win under their belt and gotten better. So I don't think it'll be very close. But I'm going to root for Northwestern as a yeah, Gators man. fan. I'm not a huge fan of Ohio State. And I think that the way they're, they're getting into the playoffs is, isn't legit. So I'm going to go for Ohio State. I'm sorry, I'm going to go for Northwestern. But I don't see a situation where Ohio State does not win this game. Yeah, I mean, it'd be funny if they lost just because the fans will have a bunch of I told you so. But even if they just have a bad day and lose against Northwestern, I do think the logical thing, like I said, is that they did make the Big Ten. I'm rooting for Northwestern as well, but I don't think it'll be, I really don't think it'll be close. I think Ohio State's going to blow them out. They're going to make them, every fan look wrong because they're going to beat Northwestern by 20, 25, 30 and make the spread look like a joke. I don't think come playoff time, though, Ohio State's really going to compete due to that weaker defense. This Once they hit the playoffs, they'll play a real legit team. I don't even know if Northwestern you could call a, really, a real legit competitor because they're number 14. I think once they play Notre Dame, once they play Trevor Lawrence or Mac Jones, I don't want to say they'll get spanked, but I don't think they'll probably get a first-round win in the semifinal, semifinal of the playoffs. I don't think they'll even make it to the championship. Yeah, the way I see it, I agree with that. Is if you're if you're Clemson or you're Notre Dame or Alabama, you, you want to play Ohio State yeah. in the first round. You'd want to just because they're they're looking like the weakest team of the four if they make it, just because they're defense. But I think it'll be plenty to take them through this this Big Ten championship. Sounds good. All right, two minutes.